Hello and welcome to In the Frame, news from the global art world with Gene Seidman. Today we're going to talk about what happened in the USA on January 6th, 2021. Barbara Wollenen watched TV and was both glued and terrified as events unfolded in Washington, D.C. You see, she was once the curator for 30 years for the architect of the Capitol. It's the office that maintains and preserves the building's art and architecture of the Capitol of the United States of America. She knew firsthand the vulnerability and horrific potential that was possible. Woolenin shrieked, what if rioters slashed John Trumbull's Declaration of Independence, one of the large paintings depicting America's fight for freedom, or smashed the statue of Martin Luther King. The art collection was at risk for nearly four hours. One man grabbed a framed photo of the Dalai Lama and stuffed it in his backpack. Major concerns include over 35 statues in Statuary Hall of prominent Americans, two from each state, that memorialize such figures as Samuel Adams, Rosa Parks, and Thomas Edison. Safely away from the rioters was the frescoes on the rotunda ceiling entitled The Apotheosis of Washington. The collection includes works by artists Thomas Crawford, Constantino Bromidi, and murals by Alan Cox. The last breach by a large violent group was during the War of 1812, when invading British troops set fire to the building. Detailed assessments from the architect of the Capitol have not yet been released. The good news is that major works of art, curators consider some of the greatest treasures, do not appear to have suffered major damage. Anthony Verkamp, who worked for the National Trust for Historic Preservation, suggested that some of the damage should be preserved as a reminder of just how vulnerable our monuments and institutions truly are. This would not grant status or commemorate the insurrectionists for acting in their heinous manner. A debt of gratitude goes out to the workers of the architect of the Capitol, who must now clean up the riotous mess. Please visit this website to view the entire Senate art collection online. I'm personally left with this question. How people calling themselves patriots could show such a blatant disregard and utter disrespect for one of America's most sacred institutions? And that's another edition of In the Frame, news from the global art world with Gene Seidman. Who more than seven?